Another great recommendation from you guys. We've got Buddy Franklin's biggest and best goals. Let's go. That was from a decent distance. Oh, well, the match. A decent distance. Is there a reason? So, so this video is um, not necessarily always the best goals, but some of them have a reason why they were so good. There has to be some context behind them. So, if there are any, if there are any of these clips that I'm not sure of. If they, yeah, that one looked really good. It was from a really good distance. But was there a context behind this one? Let me know. We're talking about lighting a fire. They needed him to come to the party. Towers looks up, sends it long. Franklin stays down. Oh, got it. it. Bends it. Oh, my goodness. That's got. What was impressive about that one? So it's, there's probably going to be like 23 stops in this video. Um, what was impressive about that one is the fact that the first guy fumbled it, dropped it. The react, the reactions from from Buddy Franklin there to then react to grab it. That's what was impressive. I think that's more impressive than the actual kick um, to get the goal. I think it was the reactions after the guy dropped it. That was what was impressive. But Sydney were blowing them away in this video. Apparently, one hundred and thirty to fifty five. That's a hard one. Sorry, he got t he's got ten in. I know they're clearly blowing, blowing the other team out of the water. But he got ten. He scored ten goals. Wow. Maybe that's why it was actually really good. Although I'm thinking it's the reactions for the catch after the mark got dropped. Ten goals. That's pretty impressive. To defend against when a bloke can pick it up. And Helps when the t other step. team has been so useless. Noble knocking it down. Here's Franklin emerging from the gloom. Running left foot shot at goal. Oh, swept inwards. Swept inwards. It looked like it was going for a behind and it, and it just seemed to bend yeah, as with his left foot. Nice. Up enough to give a handball up and that's a terrific goal. Probably six foot three. I love it when a player knows they've scored and I think um, footballers are exactly the same. Uh, if you remember like Michael Owen, Michael Owen scoring against Argentina and the ball's not even gone in the net and he's off celebrating because you just know it's gone in. So just over a minute to play and that's a strong mark by Naismith who goes to Buddy quickly. Oh, I sold him, sold him again. Dockety. Little one-two, little one-two. Boom. Back to Buddy. Brilliant oh. up. Huge kick, Is there huge kick. <laughs> Was that? <laughs> really nice big kick Naismith. that was. Sold him. Sold him. Sold it. Oh, one, two. Very good. Just inside the 50. So he's getting tackled and he just walks away, <laughs> walks out of the tackle. That's almost comical. Um, and then just to casually, you know, casually score that goal was brilliant. Astounding. Only Buddy. Only Buddy. Only Buddy. We're both applauding our seats here, Lord. Actually Look, he just walks away. He <laughs> slips so, out. How good is it? Unbelievable, powerful <laughs> and skillful. Very good. Boom. Oh, that little dink. The dink. The dink. Hang on. I've just got to go back a second. Yeah. Hello. At least, so I've been talking about the uh, the umpires behind the goal looking a bit grumpy. 
at least she looks a little bit happier. She looks happy to be doing that job, doesn't she? <laughs> that dink, like this, the the way the ball bounced when it hit the floor. Look, dunk. That is magic. Yeah, that is amazing, isn't it? Crazy. That's what you can happen with an egg shaped ball. He's not. He's not. He's going to go for an absolute monster. Call it 80 meters, but you need the bounce, the bounce, the goal. He's done it again, buddy. That's about as long as you can get. 80 meters, roughly. 80 meters. That is like. A football pitch, soccer, is it can vary in size, but maybe up, you know maybe about a hundred meters, hundred yards, that sort of distance. Not many footballers can kick it that far. I know it's from his from his uh, from his from his hands with momentum. Uh, maybe compare it, compare it to a goalkeeper, maybe who can possibly kick it that sort of distance. That is a monster kick. He is clearly good at this. How good was that? That must have been 80. Well, let's Speaking move on to the Franklin just goal. Leaders, how wow. good was that? It's just Bang. superb. Talk about players putting the ball under their arm and taking off. Knew he was running out of time. Luckily, so it didn't have a funny 80. dink in the ball that time. He turns 70 metres out. Low ball. Got to get in front. Oh, oh they buggered it. It <laughs> just swings around. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but how can a player, how can a player know how the ball is going to bounce? There's got to be some luck in this, and and I don't want to kind of put the guy down because he's clearly insanely good. But my point is not necessarily with the player; it's with the the shape of the ball. Same in rugby. Now, how can you? determine that that ball is going to swing around I don't know maybe he can maybe it's the way he kicks it he knows it's going to it's going to swing around I don't know Oi. only buddy only buddy they keep saying only like buddy that. oh he done it with the outside as well maybe he did when Sydney... maybe I correct myself if anyone has paused the video and decided to comment okay listen to what I'm about to say the technique he used, the outside of his left foot, maybe he did know what he was doing. Maybe he did know that by doing that action, it was gonna this it was gonna swing round towards the goal. Impressive, impressive. You were being challenged. Oh, what a goal from the champion Sydney Swans full forward. And the Hawks might even bring up three figures the way they're finishing. Here's Mitchell. They're dangerous again. Stokes giving one up, but he has five, he won't get a six. Oh, it's dangerous to say, he won't do anything. He has done, he has done the impossible. He has done it all. I'm going to assume this one was this one was before the one where he got ten. Because he said he did the imp impossible, but he then went and got ten. So. Now, we see some great goals and some great contenders for goals of the year. But the way he forced him his way through a couple of tackles here, he's got to, it's got to be a contender, doesn't it? Get out of my way. The big unit God, shrugs him off. That's, that's what's impressive about it, is that um, he almost walks through the challenges. He doesn't necessarily, it doesn't look like he necessarily shoves them off or anything. He literally walks through them. There's no physicality from his side, it seems. He just walks through the challenges and the other players just slip off him. Kicks the goal. Maybe he's got he loads of baby himself. oil on. Do they put baby oil on? What a day for the Hawks after. There's another question for you. Oh, hang on. Might not be over yet. Five seconds cool. to oh, let it bounce. 13! 13! <laughs> Can you believe it? Okay, well, he's now got 13 goals in a game. Surely he's not got 13 goals in a game. That is ridiculous. That is like someone in football probably getting a. Is that uh, it's probably someone getting a double hat trick in in soccer? That's insane. But for that one, it was the fact that he had gone from ball on the ground, up, turn, shoot, and it was a rocket. He's kicked thirteen on the siren. It's insane, absolutely insane. He got thirteenth right on the siren. Or it's there. They wave the flags. It's there. 
Dustin was in the thick of it there. Well done, Burns. Sold him. Composure shown by Hodge. This is the running machine that the Hawks have got that does provide the threat oh. in the finals. Nice. Lewis jabs that nicely. Nice. And going to attack. Dishes off to Rioli. Rioli. Rioli shots it. Here's the moment. Ah. Oh. So when um, when you catch a mark from that distance, I assume that you basically get a free kick at it. Now I know when you get the mark, you get a free kick, sort of. Um, but from that, I assume that no one even bothers standing in the way. I assume. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong. Here he comes. He's almost got a smile on his face already. I know people do stand in his way, but don't put much of an effort in. <laughs> They're all coming on. They're all coming on. Thousands. <laughs> in 150 years of AFL to reach the magical 100. Now, in football, we sometimes have, you know, the fans running on the pitch. It's normally when a team gets promoted from a division or something and teams crazy. But <laughs> what's amazing about this compared to in football when a team gets promoted is when the team's promoted and, and fans all run on the pitch, the, the players normally get off fairly quickly. They don't want to be in the, in the mix. There is no hope, no hope of Buddy getting out of that. He is literally surrounded, but they all clearly absolutely adore him. It's such an awesome sight to see, look. Look, oh my word. <laughs> Is, it was still in the first quarter. It, they've literally stormed the pitch, and it is the nearly the end of the first quarter. <laughs> it's not even the end of the game. So now everyone's gonna have to get off the pitch. Where are all the stewards? <laughs> How many stewards can we see? One, two, three, three stewards there. That's insane. He scored obviously what is it scored a hundred? At least wait after the game. I wonder if uh, were Haw 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 who are H A W Hawks? I don't know. Um, what, were they punished for this for having a fans fans raiding the pitch? They're still coming. Oh no, that was before. Ignore me. I rewinded. Insane. 30 years of age right now as Lekas delivers to Franklin and he's off. Keep going, buddy. Keep going, buddy. The freakish goal! What I love about the commentator there is keep going, buddy, but it sounds like he's like, keep going, mate, keep going, mate. Generation next on display for Hawthorne right there. Hawthorne, sorry. Hawthorne. Oh, buddy will be talking about that all summer. He, he will, and uh, his aunt will 30 seconds before he tried to do the same thing. Like, <laughs> so <laughs> now they're charging the other way. Right, kid, look out. And it's Franklin again. Open goal square. He might Bang. try for a 70 metre goal. And he really would be worth all the money they're paying him. Oh. Give him a longer contract. <laughs> <laughs> what a kick. Give him it. a longer contract. He's kicked that off one step from 70 metres. <laughs> and it carried all the way there. Give That's on paradise for a full forward. I hope, Kingy, I hope people appreciate how amazing this kick is. Look where he is. He's 70 metres from goal. Off one step, he wheels out and goes bang. And look how far he has got a monster to the kick, goal honestly. Such a big kick. Bruce with the free kick then. They're trying to move it quickly. They feel they've got a chance here, and that's the man they need to move it quickly and to. Franklin. A similar around. goal again. He clearly can do it over and over. It's a little bit like Eddie Betts, the Eddie Betts video I did. Eddie Betts is consistently doing it from that side of the of the goal, a ridiculously tight angle. Whereas it seems like Buddy was is was just can kick it from so far away. And and by being able to do that in a sport like this is goals. It just means goals because you don't have to progress. You don't have to get the territory up the pitch, off the field, whatever you prefer. By being able to kick it from further away, you don't have to gain as much territory and therefore you get more opportunities to score. 
it it's means that it's harder to defend. You have to defend higher up. Yeah, hope that makes sense tactically. Oh. Buddy Franklin, long range, gets the goal. Two points the difference. Put into the flags anyway. Sewell got the handball from Tuck. Weaved his way through. Franklin, one oh, hand, not the second grab. Ibbotson. I oh, nicked it. Franklin and bang. On. Can make a grown man cry. Fantastic. Unbelievable. I love these sort of one liners from the commentators. Six foot five, whatever he is, to be able to dance around three opponents. He didn't go to ground. He didn't get a grain. That's the biggest thing. Thought he was going to shoot here. there. Okay. Oh, well, what can we say anymore? Just let it, let it unfold. On a side note, I was recommended this by someone else. With such such fantastic commentary, um, I was recommended to listen to the Q Q Commentator podcast. Really, really good. Um, get on Spotify or any other podcast place, but Q Commentator, C U E Commentator, um, and they've done one with Clive Tilsley, who who does um, the football commentary, Premier League, and all that. And you think he recently retired, but he does some really good ones. There's guys from New Zealand that come on and do it. Really good listen. If you like the commentary side of things, been some players play AFL with large bags of tricks, but Lance Franklin's bag is just about as big as they come. Got rid of Walker, Millican measured the kick. It's a good one. Gives Franklin a run. Keith couldn't he's, quite, he's quick, quick, isn't he? Couldn't quite. He and is Franklin, quick. He might do what he that did guy is CG. not keeping up with him. He oh, he bounced it funny. Got it back. It. He's 50, 48 out. Uh oh, bang. Dennis, where are you? I need you right now. <laughs> oh, that is. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> the first bit of the commentary there. No idea what he's talking about. I think it, that was um, relative to the time and 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 something topical. Um, but it's the way. The spur of the moment, the spur of the moment commentary where he's thinking off the top of his head and he just cannot get the words out. And I've been there, mate. I've been there, buddy. I, I know exactly what that's like. And he just couldn't get his words out. <laughs> McVay, out to Lloyd. Franklin's one out deep again. He's hot and hot, buddy. And he's not been able to mark it. It's not over yet, though. Still got it. He tries one on Carlo. Gets some good assistance. But he's Bang. still going. But he's still no. going. He's unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't think the last one was kickable. Neither was that. Well, there were two great shepherds here. One on the line from Adam Goods to allow it to be a goal. But one to just give Buddy Franklin a meter. The commentators clearly love this guy. Sensing this danger that the Swans are in. It's a Buddy Franklin under the scene. He delays the give. Franklin. That's even further. That's even further. <laughs> Just insane. Just insane. How is he picking it from that far away? Under the pressure as well. This is an extraordinary finish. It starts with a fan. <laughs> Get off. Away, Nick Haynes. Then he says, Slips off him. And give? No, I'll kick it. How far? I reckon he's kicked it from outside 60. Ridiculous. Virtual gets the hand pass to Suckling. Suckling, he, such a good kick, normally uses the ball well again. Schoenmakers gets it from Mitchell. Proving kick inside the forward 50. But he's got it. Uh oh. Wheels around, gathers the football. Outside his foot again, I'm sure. He's kicked the miracle. Oh, definitely outside of his foot again. It was. He seems to be able to. I, he seems to get be able to get it to swerve inwards with the outside of his left foot. Crazy, but he clearly knows that that's. You know, I wasn't sure to start with, but he clearly knows that that's what's going to happen. It's going to swerve inwards. Number four. This has got to be getting better. Don't. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot from there. I can't. 
contest. Missed it. This will be interesting. Like it. Got it. Bang. And the dirt that is gone. He's extraordinary. They say that was a miracle goal. Why was it a miracle goal? Because I don't think that's the that's I think there's others previously that were better than that. But it was is this one where there was some context behind it? He's the Usain Bond of football, isn't he? He's oh, about the same size and shape. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you would think for Crawford, then Hawthorne to mount another realistic challenge. Letson. Fans screaming. Oh, Boom! Fans. Good catch. And going from the 50. <laughs> Franklin's kick six. This to put the Hawks in front with just a few seconds left in the elimination <laughs> final. <laughs> that one had context behind it. And I can see that. They were behind. Literally, there is no time left. And and someone else pointed about someone else pointed this out that um quite often on TV the time gets stopped when the ball's dead but sometimes it doesn't so I've seen other clips where it's gone into like 30 minutes or something like that um, and it can be a bit confusing because if you were looking you think well a quarter is only 20 minutes why is it showing 29 but right at the end of the game some playoffs was it to get into the playoffs or to win the playoffs or something like that context is there I think that's what you got to realise. Not all goals are amazing because of how they were kicked or scored. They're amazing because of the context behind them. Because this match was getting away from them. See a big torpedo coming from the Nice. He's playing on. Nice. <laughs> but he jumps up. It's an MCG special. That is ridiculous. Absolutely bloody ridiculous. That is literally two kicks and two kicks and a goal, basically. Two kicks and a goal. Bang. Swerve on the ball as well. Just insane. He is an apps. How is he kicking the ball so far? Under pressure as well. This has got to be the best one. Fourth quarter. 73, 79. This probably won't make much of a difference. That is a tight Eddie Betts angle. So, clearly it's not just Eddie Betts that can score from that angle. And that's his ability. That is extraordinary football. He's got that natural right to left kicking action, so he knows if he gets it to right goal post, it'll just swing back, back, which is... Uh, that's as good as goals I've ever seen. Brilliant. Yeah, that's that's look, here you can see the angle even more. Such a tight angle. Ridiculous. We'll end on that image. Just mind-blowing. How can this guy kick the ball so far, so accurately, under such pressure, with players, you know, trying to grab him and slipping off him? Look at that image. Yeah. Look at the, cr the crowd behind. Look at the lady cheering behind. Clearly people love this guy. And clearly he's a goal-scoring machine. Just insane. I hope you enjoyed, guys. If you did, hit the like button and the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. It would mean the world to me if you could subscribe and watch the rest of my videos. I'll catch you next time.